An offense against animals is wrong because it is wrong to harm animals. Did you know that Canada's animal cruelty laws have not been updated in almost 125 years? Our criminal code provisions at the federal level haven't been updated in a serious, substantial way, the offense provisions, in over 100 years. Bill C-246, Modernizing Animal Protections Act, can change that. Of all the complaints put forward, less than 1% are successfully prosecuted, and that is, uh, that's unreasonable. Over 140,000 people have signed petitions in favour of updating Canada's outdated animal cruelty laws. We need Canadians to stand up for animals and show my colleagues how much it matters to improve animal protections in our country to Canadians. A recent government e-petition in favour of updating the laws had over 3,600 signatures in just one week and continues to grow. It was frustrating that the government was siding with uh, the concerns raised by a small but vocal group of opponents. Over four months, only 237 people signed a government e-petition against these changes. That I don't believe are legitimate concerns and that lawyers that I have consulted don't believe are legitimate concerns. So tell me. Why is our government siding with a tiny minority of Canadians? We have provisions that humane societies and SPCAs have told us get in the way of enforcing the law. We need to respect that and we need to change that. What gives? Please, tell your MP to stand up for animals. This legislation is in danger of not passing if we don't change the minds of, of my colleagues so that they know this is about animal abuse and not animal use and that uh, and that this legislation needs to pass to better protect animals. So we really need as many people as possible contacting their MPs and, and really importantly, setting up meetings. Setting up meetings so that they can walk through the legislation with their MP to say this is what it's about and this is why it matters so much to me. Time is running out. Write to the Justice Minister and meet with your MP. If you're concerned about talking to your MP, you'll find help at callyourmp.ca. Please call your MP.ca.